If a CD player outputs analog, why a DAC? Mike in New Zealand is asking that question. Hi Paul, I quite often see recommendations that a DAC, a digital to analog converter, can improve the quality of music when connected downline from a CD player. I can understand an improvement that a DAC would have using with a CD transport as the output signal is still digital. In fact, <laughs> obviously it's quite necessary. But with a CD player, isn't the signal already converted to analog? So how can a DAC be useful in this case? Isn't the job already done? I want to improve my system with a DAC, but don't want to waste money unnecessarily. Well, thanks for asking, Mike. That can be confusing. The simple answer is that CD players do indeed produce analog, but they also have a digital output. So when you take the digital output of a CD player and put it into a DAC, what you're doing is turning your CD player into a transport and you're assuming that the external DAC you're connecting to is better than the internal DAC on your CD player. So that's the quick and dirty answer for you. That's what you're doing. Almost every CD player has a digital output and you simply are just going to ignore the DAC, which is producing analog, you're right, in a CD player. Because, let's look, a CD player is a DAC and a transport together. And on the outside, it would seem like, well, why would you want to do that? Well, most CD players have throwaway DACs inside of them. And they're just adequate DACs. And external DACs, like the kind we make, the kind uh, other high-end audio companies make, are focused on quality of sound and they are almost always better than internal DACs built in to CD players. So the reason you'd want to do it and certainly experiment and, and of course it depends on the, on the CD player. Look, there are some expensive CD players out there that have killer DACs inside of them. Oh my gosh. But your average CD player has a pretty crappy DAC inside relative to what we would send to you and have you hook up and you would notice an immediate difference. Now having said that, uh, here's something else I will add into that. The DAC is by far the most important element in CD reproduction. The transport's important and a great transport can make a lot of difference, but if you only have a limited budget, put your money into a great DAC and buy a, a, a ho-hum CD player. I mean, I have gone to shows, for one reason or another, with a great DAC, and at the last minute had to go down to Walmart and buy a damn CD player just to make the thing work. Well, it's a long story. I've had stuff not show up. But, you know, we were showing a DAC. And take the digital output from literally a $50 <coughs> CD player, and it sounds great. Could it sound better with a better transport? Oh, heck yes. But if you have to have one or the other, go for the DAC. Hope that answers your question. And by the way, Terry and I are trying to plan a trip to New Zealand in December. We were just looking at tickets today. So maybe we'll see you there. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.